Here we are. Nobody. And we don't see any other cars, which usually means we're the only ones here. That would be awesome. We didn't believe it at first. We thought it was too good to be true. We'll see. There is probably a time limit of 15 minutes for our group, usually. But there's nobody else here, so we shouldn't have a time limit unless someone else shows up. The owner said that right before we arrived it was crowded, and then right when we got here there was no one. Here we are, nobody. Queen Fervedoro. You can see all the fish in here. And one human. <laughs> there are these flowers in this Fervedoro. And I think they're lilies. They smell really good. You can smell them even from the middle of the fervidoro. Very strong aroma. This one looks a lot like Bella Vista, except for there are no people. Uh, I guess this one is just not very well known. It's not because it's lesser or anything like that. People just don't know the name. Isn't this incredible? Yup. These fish are like on me. Let's check them out from the underworld. Not only does this place look amazing, it smells like lilies or whatever that is. It smells like banana plants, trees, <laughs> fresh water, the freshest of water, you can drink this. We can stay in here all to ourselves until someone else arrives. So we've been in here for about a half hour, still no one. Let's walk into here. This is where the water comes up from the underground river. Look in the middle, you can kind of see the outline, the perimeter of a circle and that's where suddenly you fall down and there's no land
So this is our last Fervadoro ever. Heaven. Probably. Heaven. <laughs> These have been the best days ever. And some of the coolest places in the world. You will not be disappointed if you come here. It's better than the pictures, and that rarely happens. This is probably the saddest thing we've had to leave ever yeah. in Brazil. We wish we could just live here. Uh. So, let's go grab lunch. Let's try yeah. to not be sad that we're <laughs> leaving this place. We have some really cool photos from this place. Maybe even better than this video. So if you want to see those photos, drone shots, all of that, then find us on Instagram, Alexander Travel Bomb. Lindsay Travel Bomb. We'll see you on there. most depressing goodbyes ever. We had no idea that places like this existed in Brazil. We didn't know much about Brazil before we came here and now we know and we're glad we get to share it with you guys. All of you who don't know much about Brazil know that there are places like this, places like heaven here. We just made it back and look, still nobody. That's our truck. What did we spend, like an hour there? At least an hour. It could have been longer, but we have a long drive back and we are getting hungry. If you guys come to Jalapao, you definitely need a guide. We would not have been able to do this by ourselves. This is Andre. He's been with us our whole trip. I'm here to help you us. <laughs> and what is your Instagram? My Instagram is Jalapão Brazil Tips. Jalapau Brazil Tips. Follow so, me, please. <laughs> so go to that Instagram, send him a message, follow him. He has a bunch of cool pictures on there, and he has made our trip unforgettable. He'll help you guys experience Jalapau the right way. There's a light switch on this tree. <laughs> Where does that go to? It's just a tree in the middle of the parking lot. Time to grab some lunch before our long drive back to Palma. We looked around for a restaurant for the last half hour. It's a Sunday. Everything seems to be closed in Brazil on Sundays, so we had to come back to the first Fervadoro we went to, and they are serving lunch, luckily. Let's see. Is that fish or chicken, fish, beef, rice, beans? This is the best one we've had. What do you think, Lindsay? This is the best meal we've had so far in Jalapal, I think. The the food seems really fresh and they have this shredded meat that is mm. Same thing mm. pretty much everywhere you go. But the flavors change a little bit and when it's fresh it's a lot better. This meat has a lot of flavor. Hmm. Isn't it the best? Yeah. So hard to see from the moment we arrive. We are well and alive after our four days in Jalapao. We didn't die from the roads. We are in Palmas. There's a sunset starting over here. Maybe we'll see that. We're catching a flight in a few hours, so we will see you at the airport. Good morning, guys. It's one in the morning, and we're about to head to the Palmas Airport. We rented out a hotel room for about six dollars to have it for five hours. Sad. Our Brazil trip is coming to an end. Okay, we made it to the airport. We have 10 minutes till we board, so we made it at the last minute. 
pretty much. There is a reason for that though. It wasn't because we were running late. We had a little bit of issues when it came to getting the Uber. So the first Uber driver that accepted our ride, he sent us a message in Portuguese saying we needed to pay double or three times the price and wanted us to pay him off the app in cash and it was very confusing. He showed up at the hotel. He didn't cancel the ride on the app, but he still wanted all this cash. It was weird. He wanted us to pay on the app and in cash and a ton more than we were supposed to pay. And when we were telling him we're late, we have to go, like just figure something out. He was laughing at us. He was just, he was having a bunch of fun because he thought because it's two in the morning that... Or we, is it two yeah. In the morning? It, yeah. Because it's very early in the morning, he thought that there would be no other Ubers, and so we had to go with him with that horrible yeah. price. But we didn't go with him, we cancelled the ride and we found someone else. The reason he was trying to charge us so much is because he said he wouldn't be able to find a return ride back to the area, because this airport is about 30 minutes out of the city. So anyway, we're here at the small little airport, no food, no drinks available, just a little popcorn machine maker back there. One of the smallest airports I've ever seen. It looks like it only has two gates. We are in the U.S. and we almost can't believe it. It is always weird coming home after several months traveling. Everybody speaking English, we understand everybody perfectly. It is very weird. Always reverse culture shock when you come back to the U.S. after being gone for a long time. It'll take a little bit to get used to. Especially the prices. <laughs> it's too expensive here. We want to go back. <laughs> no, we're glad to be home, but not for the prices. So, we are waiting to board our next flight. Alex is going home to San Francisco, and I am going home to Minneapolis. We don't know how long we're going to be home for sure. We still have to pick out our next destination on where we're going. So we know there aren't a lot of locations in the world that are open right now, but we wanted to ask you guys, where are you interested in seeing? If you're interested in seeing us go somewhere, let us know in the comments below, because we want to see where in the world you're interested in. Hopefully somewhere that's open in regards to COVID, that's always a big factor for us. So. But hopefully some of the world is opening soon, so even if there are places that you want to see us go, but you don't know if it's open yet, we want to see those too, because hopefully we'll be going several places this year. As you guys know, we really enjoyed traveling around Brazil, but we only had three months there. That's when our visa expired, so time to come home. We're excited to be taking you around the world. We're going to be traveling to a lot more countries, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already to see us travel around the rest of the world. And Brazil, we will be back. <laughs> see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you.